This video is made possible by Skillshare, home to over 17,000 classes that could help you learn a new life skill. Be one of the first 500 to sign up using the link below and get a two-month free trial with Skillshare. Of all the questions mankind has ever asked, one of the biggest and most fascinating is, are we alone in the universe? It's a hotly debated topic, and at this early stage of space exploration, very hard to answer with certainty. But let's say the world decided to work together and give it our best shot to find alien life as quickly as possible. Where should we look? From what we understand of biology, wherever there is water, there is life. So it stands to reason that if we want the best odds of finding life elsewhere in the galaxy, we should look for places with water. Let's start with the planet we've had our eye on for centuries, our neighbor Mars. The red planet is dusty and barren on the surface, but below the rust-colored dirt, somewhere around 30 meters down, there could exist pockets of liquid water. Mars also has polar ice caps, like Earth, and at some point in its history had oceans and other bodies of water. In November of 2016, NASA reported the discovery of a large amount of underground ice on Mars. The ice pocket is suspected to contain as much water as Lake Superior, which is a huge amount of real estate for potential extremophile bacteria. Because of our proximity to the red planet, Mars ranks pretty highly on our list of places to explore for life. But if we travel a little further from home, we find a handful of much more promising locations. Over 365 million miles from Earth lies the enormous gas giant Jupiter. Jupiter's orbit is home to not just one, but three potential hotspots for alien life. First, the mysterious ice world Europa. This smallish moon is about the same size as our own moon, and is fairly unique in the solar system as it's thought to have an enormous global ocean of liquid water in contact with a rocky seafloor. This ocean is trapped beneath a thick, global sheet of ice, which fractures and shifts as Europa is affected by Jupiter's gravity. The shifting of the tides and interior of the moon could likely create volcanic or hydrothermal activity on the seafloor, warming parts of the ocean and providing essential components for life. The thought of an entire ocean world beneath the ice just waiting to be explored is incredibly exciting, and has earned Europa its spot in science fiction films like the Europa Report. Next on our list is Ganymede, the largest moon in the entire solar system, at 8% larger than Mercury and about two-thirds the size of Mars. If Ganymede orbited the Sun instead of Jupiter, it would easily be classified as its own planet. This giant moon is special because it likely has an enormous saltwater ocean beneath its icy surface, so enormous that it totals more volume than all of the water on Earth. Scientists suspect that the ocean is about 100 kilometers or 60 miles deep. That's 10 times the depth of our own oceans. Additionally, Ganymede's surface shows signs of past flooding, indicating cryovolcanic activity, another big plus for life. With all that liquid water hiding below the surface, who knows what could be lurking in the dark depths of this giant moon. The third promising moon of Jupiter is known as Callisto, and ranks as the third largest moon in the solar system, nearly the size of Mercury. In addition to her bronze medal for size, Callisto is also recognized as the most heavily cratered object in the solar system. Proponents of the theory of panspermia, the idea that life on Earth was sparked via asteroid from somewhere else, suspect that the same could be the case for Callisto, with even greater odds due to its huge number of asteroid impacts. And that's not all. Callisto has shown no signs of extensive resurfacing since the impacts which molded its current landscape, meaning Callisto has the oldest surface landscape in the solar system, about 4 billion years. 4 billion years is a long time for potential life to develop without interruption from violent asteroid impacts. And that's still not all Callisto has going for it. Poor cratered Callisto, once hailed as the most boring object of its size in the solar system, has not only a subsurface ocean, but also a thin atmosphere of CO2. As we've learned from Earth, water plus available CO2 is a very good combination for life. Finally, we have possibly the best bet for finding life beyond Earth. Not because its conditions are vastly superior to the other locations on our list, but because this one is literally blasting hundreds of kilograms of water vapor, molecular hydrogen, and other volatiles into space every second, indicating massive thermal activity. This is Enceladus, and it could very likely be hiding the most exciting discovery of all time. Enceladus, like Europa, has a giant global ocean sheltered beneath a thick layer of ice. But Enceladus is much more thermally active than Europa. One of the most prevalent theories for the origins of life on Earth is the idea that chemical reactions at deep sea hydrothermal vents provided the nutrients and conditions for the origin of simple life. A theory published in 2016 suggests that the hydrothermal activity on Enceladus has been going on since its very formation at least 100 million years ago. The presence of such long-lasting thermal activity on Enceladus has huge implications in the search for life. 
If this global ocean and internal heating have coexisted for tens of millions of years, life would not only have had the time and conditions to emerge, but also to evolve into more complex forms. This is all incredibly exciting stuff, but what are we doing about it? You'll be happy to learn that the European Space Agency is planning to send a probe called JUICE to Jupiter and its moons in 2022, and NASA hopes to send a probe to Europa by the mid-2020s. As for Enceladus, there's nothing concrete yet, but a number of suggested missions hope to dive through the breathtaking plumes, and with any luck, answer one of mankind's greatest questions. But until then, all we can do is sit tight and wait to discover what lurks below the surface of these icy worlds. As you all know, I'm always trying to improve my videos, without compromising the fun, simple style we all know and love. To do that, I'm taking a class to polish my editing skills with Skillshare. Learning by trial and error is great, but when you really want to fast track your learning, professional, organized classes are the way to go. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators, featuring over 17,000 classes in video editing, animation, graphic design, film production, and more. Anyone can take a class, try a project, or even teach a class themselves. Premium membership begins around 10 bucks a month for unlimited access to everything. As a little thank you for watching my videos, Skillshare is offering a two month free trial to the first 500 people who sign up using the link below. You can use those two months to learn an awesome new skill that you can use to market yourself, create a business, or even start a YouTube channel like I did. There's no better time than now to take the first step towards learning that new skill you've always dreamed of having. And since it's completely free to try, you have nothing to lose. Be one of the first 500 to sign up using the link below and start your two month free trial with Skillshare. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to keep up to date with the latest content. And if you actually want YouTube to tell you when I upload a new video, click the little bell next to my channel name to join the notification squad. You can watch the rest of my videos by clicking here, or if you're done learning for the day, come check out my new gaming channel by clicking here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.